Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Let's Play Real Remastered. Yes indeed. Right, this is a very, 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 very strange one. For two reasons. The first reason is it's 11 o'clock at night and I never, ever really record an LP at this time at night. However, I've just finished streaming Mass Effect. Hence, you'll, if you've watched the stream, you'll notice I'm in the same clothing, the same background. Everything is the same because I'm literally finished streaming that made myself a cup of Earl Grey tea. I'm still full of beans, full of energy, because I had an afternoon nap this afternoon for two hours, and therefore I'm still feeling fresh as a daisy, even at this time. And I thought, I quite fancy play some Rome Total War. And Bizaltes is beset by the Romans, and he has already put his official orders up, well before the Friday deadline. This is going to be a very tough battle, it's going to be a pivotal battle, it might take about 10 to 15 minutes or so, and therefore if I go through this at the start of the next session, I'm going to be almost drained before I continue on with the rest of it. So I thought, you know what, while I've got this bit of energy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring to you a battle special. This session is going to be about 15 to 20 minutes long, it is just going to be Bizaltus's battle for Corallis against the two Romans. This is a pivotal, pivotal battle, not just because of the fact of the situation, not the fact it's just our, you know, our campaigning army, our first elite campaigning army, but it's this is a, a statement that we can send to the Romans. If we send these guys packing, I say with their tails between their legs, if we send their body parts back in a bag, back to Rome, that will set a very, very big statement to the rest of the Romans in Italy that we mean business. So, here I am about to fight it at this time of night. Now, as you know from the very slight few handful of things that I have recorded in the past at this time, I'm not usually quite so sharp and I tend to make mistakes. For a tough battle like this, it's probably not a good idea for me to do this. But hey, here I am. Let's roll with it. So at 11 o'clock at night, let's do it. Let's do it. This is the battle for Corallis. The factionaire Bizaltes is going to take down, hopefully, Flavius Scipio and another two of the Scipii uh, generals, Lucius and Publius, and his host of mercenaries, pretty much, and also uh, Marcus Julius with his host of Astarte uh, as well. So this is, uh, is going to be a tough one. And I'm going to try to follow Bizaltes' plan as closely as I can, with my incompetence, of course. So, uh, without further ado, folks, as the Hoss of Julii declare war on the Gauls, let us do this. And uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm relatively nervous. Sire, I'm a little bit nervous, I will admit. Prepare for battle. Oh, is this a good idea? I don't know. I don't know. Recording the session at this time is probably not a good idea, but here we are. Right, the balance of power bar is slightly in their favour. Which is alarming. <laughs> Which is alarming. But we've got gold. We've got gold standard elephants. What more do you need? Uh, right, let's do this. Oh. Okay. 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 So I'll go through Bizaltus's plan um, when we start the battle. I think we should hear the speech as well. Could be his last. There are many roads to victory. Today our road lies through the enemy's ranks. Show no mercy as you cut them down. <laughs> my candle is still on. I, le I lit my candle when I was streaming Mass Effect. The the uh, the cinnamon smell soothing the nerves. The gods watch us today. Be sure they are not ashamed by your actions. Now advance! Advance on the bastards! And excuse me if I just like a little slight swear word to pull out at such a tough occasion. Right, okay, so Bizaltus' plan is simple. The Julii are going to be coming 
from this side. With Julia coming from this side. So I've instructed to set my army up um, kind of on the right hand side. Uh, the issue is the Skippy I will plot themselves literally dead center. Uh, so we can't go too far to the right, but maybe round about kind of here facing this way so that we can march towards them. We've got to get towards them quite quickly because, as I say, the Julii will be reinforcing. And the, uh, the, the, the battle formation is as follows, which, as I say, it's all mapped out by Bizaltes. This is what he's requesting, so I just need to sort it to myself first. Uh, that's wrong. Oh no, I've screwed it up. I've screwed it up. Screwed it up. Right, elephants. Cavalry. Right, so on the left flank, elephants and cavalry. Um, so it's going to be a, maybe a little slight, little slight, teeny, teeny bit different in some respects. Spearmen next. I usually cut this out of the um, of the video when I'm doing a proper video, but hey, this is only the battle in this one, so I'm going to keep everything in. The preparation, the whole kit and caboodle. Just to build the, spe the suspense before we perish. Um, <laughs> Shield cavalry and the general. Uh, okay, so what he's planning on doing is lines of speed. I'm going to sort of plot them probably about here. Something like this. So it's not massively over to the right hand side which he said as far right as possible but I'm not convinced that the enemy are going to comply with our positioning so uh, I will face this way because I anticipate them being kind of in the center it's where they always plot up is in the middle so we can hopefully get them to wheel round to us a little bit march towards us to some degree uh, and plus, I don't want us to have to walk too far. I want us to be as close to them as possible so that we can close down the ground without having to run too much to tire us out. But anyway, one line of spear. Get a little bit wider, maybe. Uh, one line of infantry that will serve to either go and plug some gaps, maybe come round a little bit, do some flanking maybe, or even just sort of rush forward and support if the line looks like it's going to break. On the left-hand side... We're going to have our cavalry ready to just kind of intercept any Roman generals that may be moving in. Maybe come around the back and hammer an anvil. The elephants were told to come in the rear. Uh, but I'm going to put them actually rear to the left. Only because if the enemy generals are on the flanks, having the elephants been able to reinforce the horses will definitely trample the enemy uh, general. Uh, which would be definitely very preferable. The elephants... Uh, purely being a, a, a Roman general trampling force would be very handy. The Balearic Slingers, off skirmish mode, fire at will will be on, and they're going to plot up behind the infantry and the spears, so they should be fine. <clears throat> and on the right flank, they will have to be able to move once the battle starts, because they're a little bit... Uh, they're a little bit uh, not well, not far out wide enough at the moment. But we can't deploy them any wider. Will be the second set of cavalry, with Bizaltes kind of supporting them. So he's going to be in the rear, but he's probably going to come out and support these guys on the right hand side. Uh, if there's because there's three enemy generals, you see. So one's going to be in the middle, one's going to be on the left, one's going to be in the right. If I was to take a guess, but if not, we'll have to be uh, on the ball as to what we do. So. That's the deployment. That's the plan. These guys here are hopefully going to take some take some casualties. We've got, got great range. Great range. The enemy also have one unit of uh, Balearic Slingers as well. So, uh, without further ado, the plan is take down the Scipii army as quickly as possible. It's the weaker of the two. Wheel ourselves around and then take, take on the Julii. That was Bazaltus's orders. Let's see how well I can execute them. Enemy reinforcements have arrived in battle. Okay, excellent. Let us move forward a touch. Uh, walk to walk to start with, and then we'll up it to a run. More than likely, as we get closer, just want to conserve energy. 
the Julii are coming onto the map already, you see. You see this? The Julii, they're moving quite quickly, which make me think that we should move quite quickly uh, as well. So don't want to run too, too far, but I think maybe running now would be preferable. We need to get rid of this army as quickly as possible. The Julii are coming, the Julii are coming. Um, I'm sweating. <laughs> I can feel my face burning already with the, with the nervous tension here. Right, these are mercenary peltas. We can outrange them. Mercenary infantry. Forward. We've got to be quick before the Julii come. The Julii are coming. Right, we've got one general here. Mercenary peltists. Infantry line. The infantry line is kind of not really in line uh, as much as we can. It's fine. Right, now we're in range of the now we're in range of these guys. These guys can cause problems. I'm going to general snipe here. This general is on the loose. He's kind of on isolated. I'm going to general snipe here. Mercenary peltists could be in range of the horses. Just. Want to be a bit careful that we don't get too close to the peltists. Right, I'm general sniping. General sniping. General sniping. I'm just letting the slingers just do their stuff, pepper them. General sniping. Here comes Bizaltes. We're going to lose a few horses in this uh, charge. Straight away he's running. Straight away he's running. Right, he's gone. Get the pelters in. Start to move in. Start to move in. Start to move in. Pelters, pelters, pelters are slinging. Move. Hammer and anvil. General sniping here. Oh, this is going to be tougher. This is going to be a lot tougher. Libyan spears have come right into the mix here. They've. Oh, they're all running. Oh, he's down. He's down. He's down. Oh, he's, he's crippled. He's crippled. We've got him. We've got him. I forgot to take the. I forgot to take my men. I forgot to take my men off onto guard mode. That was the one mistake I've made so far. I forgot to use guard mode. I forgot to use guard mode. Everybody stop. Everybody stop. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Chase down the enemy, chase down the enemy, just the horses please, just the horses. The Julia are miles away at the moment. Right, okay, I forgot to, to use guard mode. Alright, slingers. Go, 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 Just keep it out of the Julie eye. They're running again. Oh no, Spearman, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come here, come here. Right, okay. Gonna to have to get ourselves into order here. Order. They're miles, absolutely miles away. Miles. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn them. I'm going to turn them. They're going to reform. These are just their, these are just their peltists. These are just their peltists. Not, do not fear their peltists. By any stretch of the imagination here. I'm excited. I'm getting excited. I'm getting, I'm getting excited. We have absolutely routed those dogs. Literally so simplistically it wasn't even a contest okay you want to come back for more I'll trample you with my elephants pal don't even try my patience in fact this the these guys are slinging into them don't fire don't fire don't fire you kill the elephants trample them trample them down toss them in the air Right, let's have a look. So these guys, these peltas, 
Are the Julii running? The Julii might well be running, you know. They might well be running. Okay, let's just get our bearings here. Okay, the elephants have had a bit. Ha the elephants have had their fun. Let's bring the elephants back in here. We'll just walk them. There's no need for them to rush. No need to rush. Okay, here we go again. Ding, ding. Round, th round three. If you wanna, if you wanna, bloody foolish fool. Seriously, what is he doing? <laughs> Mercenary pelters. Say hello to my elephant friends, you idiots. Wee! <laughs> Tossed like lemmings. Oh, gosh. We better not lose an elephant to this, I must say. Uh, I've left him kind of stranded a little bit. Let's go and help him. Oh, we've lost one elephant. I don't believe it. We lost one elephant! In my quest to have a bit of fun tossing pelters into the air, I've lost an elephant. I can't believe it. Kind of, I'm kind of, I, I, I'm, I'm flabbergasted that the Julia I have not, the Julia have not come to the rescue of the skipper. They've taken so long to come here that we have literally going to have time to recoup, replenish. But let's not get over, let's not get over excited here because for the simple fact that uh, this Julia army was the stronger army. This army is Hastati, is Prinkipi. The other army was not. It was, of course, um, it was um, mercenaries mainly who have very low morale. So we get ourselves into position now. We should be able to have a little bit of a rest before they arrive. Bizaltes coming forth again. The van, uh, the uh, the rear guard here, just keep them out of the fight. Right, we're in position. They have got a very, 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 very thin, thinly spread line. A very thinly spread line, which I'm thinking we might need to plug a little bit, perhaps with some infantry. Just bring us a little bit of infantry round, maybe. Just plug the gaps a touch with another unit of infantry here, just to plug the gaps. Strengthen the middle. Strengthen the middle. Strengthen the middle. Get them guys firing at will. Right, we're off. We're off. Get the infantry in, boss to the center, and now we face, and now we're facing an onslaught of an onslaught of Peeler. Okay, we've got the lines. We've got the lines. We've got the lines. <clears throat> These guys are still firing. Still got plenty of ammo. Plenty of ammo. Right, here comes the first hammer and anvil. The general goes in. Bizaltes goes in. Nice. Slingers. Fire there. Fire there. Don't, don't, don't charge head first into Principes, please. Get the elephants in, maybe. 
Oh, we're losing infantry here. We're losing quite a few, but it's fine. Get them in there. I've do I still forget to take my men off skirmish mode? I can't remember. Where are my elephants going? They're causing a hot. They're causing havoc here. Go, 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 go. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Right, stop firing, stop firing, stop firing. We've got them, we've got them on the ropes here. We've got them on the ropes. Elephants coming in, trampling. Dead, dead. Oh. Well, it, well I, I, I'd say I, this is this is absolutely a fantastic result. We've lost a few men, must be said. But hey, the the, 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 the crux of the thing is we are alive. Bizaltes is alive. We haven't lost a unit. Oh no no no! Continue, run them down, run them down. So the the, the, the biggest issue was I forgot to turn guard mode on with with my infantry units. So it broke their formation. Stop firing! Stop firing! Stop firing into the horses. Oh my god, this is absolutely fantastic! Absolutely flipping glorious! Don't let them off the map! Get them! Nice. The enemy lie dead before you. Save yes. You with the weak to run away. Yes. This Heroic is a victory. victory. Oh. Oh. Wow. General's bodyguard. 234 men. 362 from the round shield cavalry. Just from 21 sustained casualties. The, the biggest losses, of course, were the front-line spearmen, who, it's got to be said, held the line really well. Really well. A massive upgrade on the uh, on the uh, Iberian infantry. Really held the line well. Wow. How long have we been going for? About 20 minutes. <laughs> Fantastic result. Well done, Bizaltes. It was Bizaltes that laid down the plan. He laid down the plan, the formation and the plan, and as a result of that, his army is still intact. Yes, 300 men fell, but over 2,000 Romans slash mercenaries fell. Corallist still stands, and he's now earned his place in the history books. Silver experience. He's gained... He's gained good commander. And I was thinking about this earlier. Hasdrubal is 63. It's unlikely he's going to be in battle ever again. And therefore, as a reward, as the news trickles through to him from Corallis of this valiant, heroic victory, which is now marked on our map with this crossed swords icon, which I can't quite get here. It's a shame that we can't quite see it, but it will be a memorable victory. You mark the year down, 252 BC. Bizaltes is now a three, a three command general. Good attacker, good commander. But to, to further support his escapades, because he's probably going to end up going now to southern Italy to take the Romans on in their own lands, buoyed by this epic victory. Um... Hasdrubal is going to uh, where's the screen? There it is. Hasdrubal is going to give him how does this work? He's going to give him as part of a, uh, his retinue uh, not the herald uh, the ones that give him better command. So a mercenary captain. Hasdrubal has a mercenary captain. He's going to give that to uh, Bizaltes, which will give Bizaltes one command, cheaper discount on unit training costs. 
uh, and bonus to looting. He's also going to give him um, a, a shield bearer. No, a spy master. Spy master plus one to command. So he's going to give him a couple of his retinue, a couple of his followers, which will further boost Bizaltus's command for two reasons. First of all, a reward for that absolutely heroic victory, but also because when Hasdrubal dies, which could happen at any time at his current age, his followers will be lost. So we're kind of preserving them a little bit as well. So there you go, three turns, Bizaltus will have a mercenary captain and a, uh, a spy master to aid him in his fight against the Romans. Right, there you go, folks. It's a bit of a surprise one for you guys, but that's it. The Battle of Corallis is done. An absolutely fantastic victory, courtesy of the cunning and battle prowess of one Bizaltes. The proper session will be coming as planned on Friday, so join me for some more Rome fun. Until then, see you soon.